Hello, this is Easy, and I'm going to show you the script that I've been using, and I'm going to be making a piston. Um, I have it located in a light box. It's 4R8, 2D to 3D. Uh, you can do a search for my uh, plugins, and you can download this one and try it. Okay, and I'll also be using another one. It's called uh, Boolin right here. It's in the uh, Z plugin. Uh, you can also uh, do a search in my videos for the Easy Boolin right here. So these are the two that I'm going to be using. All right, I'm going to show you how to make a, uh, a piston here, and I'm not going to get into full details. It's just to get you up and running how to make something quick. So with that loaded here, uh, I'm going to use my bat mask. I already already had this loaded, and this is the shape of the piston. So we're going to go here and drag out. And I'm going to go ahead and center this up a little bit, make it kind of large. Then I'm going to press 2, make alpha to 3D. Alright, it's about done here. And it's kind of the shape of the piston, but not quite what I was expecting. Or So I'm going to show you how to fix that. So we're going to go ahead and change the material to something uh, that looks resembles metal a little bit. And next thing we're going to do is press paste and replace. It's going to duplicate a subtool here in just a second. All right. If I turn on solo, you can see right here. And I'm going to be using Boolean, and I want to only see this bottom half here. All right. Let's turn solo back off. And what we're going to do is we're going to select one of these here. drag this like this and you can mess with the boons and see what which does which so I'm gonna drag this into here a little bit and flatten that out to the rod gets kind of flat too control shift click to bring everything back okay there's one of the shapes now that's looking better and I'm gonna press the hotkey to insert uh, another object uh, let's use this one here and we're going to scale that down quite a bit all right uh, we're going to use this for the top hole of the piston here and we're going to drag that up about right there and drag out let's make sure everything's centered there all right let me take a look at that and make sure it looks kind of big let's go ahead and scale it down just a little bit more and drag it up now I'm gonna duplicate that with the control key and I'm gonna drag down here this one will be a little bit bigger so we're gonna scale that one up You can see we've got a hole on both sides and we're going to duplicate that with the control key and drag over here let's turn on solo so we can kind of see what we're doing and hold the shift key so it snaps at 90 degrees all right and i'm going to bring it over here it's kind of big so let's turn on solos again so you can kind of see what's going on uh, it needs to be thin and long all right So we'll drag this over a little bit right about right here so we can put a hole in there. And we're going to center that about right. There, hold the control key, duplicate that over here. And I'll just do one more real quick one. Uh, let's see. Pressing hot key so I can uh, append or assert right here. So we're going to turn that around. And hold the shift key. Then we're going to scale it. And move it down. And you 
can mess with these to see what it's going to look like. And we're going to scale that out a little bit. I don't think I want to go with that one and that one. I don't want it to look too bad. And you're going to get something like this. When I'm done, I'm going to press make boom and mesh. And hope everything goes great. And I select a tool, and there it is. I could do the rings and everything else, but this is kind of an idea of uh, how quick you can make a piston 